everyone, it's Kristen Burt for The Web Files. Okay, so we've interviewed web celebs and web series, and of course, pioneers in new media, but we haven't interviewed the moms. Well, today's the day we have Daphne Brogdon of CoolMoms.com and Momversation.com, and she's proving there's plenty of room out there for moms. All right, I'm gonna start by introducing you, Daphne Brogdon. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Coolmom.com. Yes. And momversation.com. Yes, yes. Thank you for, for asking me. And, and you're in my own nice little play space here. A little here. Door of the Explorer tea set. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I feel very comfortable because well, I'm short. <laughs> this is where mom blogging really happens, right in the home. So. All right, if you could describe the differences between a vlogger and a blogger yes. for me, because they are very distinct things. Yeah, okay, a blogger, is the, the B blogger, is just people writing about themselves, yep. posting pictures and so forth. A vlogger with a V is doing it on video, which is a newer thing, and to be conceited, I don't think most people do it very well. <laughs> <laughs> But you do. No, but yours are very... <laughs> I like yours because they have an edge to it. I can't even schedule time to run away. Do you want to go watch a cartoon? Oh wait, let me get the phone. And then Vivian says, Oh mommy, you don't need to put on makeup. You're beautiful. But if you do put some on, you look prettier. Love it! You know, we're interviewing web series and web celebs, but we came across the whole mommy vlogger thing and I wanted to just hear all about it and sort of how it evolves. Basically, I've been doing stand-up for years. My last time I did stand-up was December of 07 because okay. I couldn't see any more leaving my then just daughter and I have a son too, but to, to go and do stand-up. So this grew out of two things. Number one, wanting creative expression without leaving my kids. Mm -hmm. And number two, feeling like there was a voice missing online for moms because I would go to something like a baby center or whatever to get information, but I felt like it wasn't my voice. You know, right. it wasn't that kind of edgy, you know, Chelsea Handler for mom almost as you exactly. as it were. So I approached DECA, they're an entertainment online company, and I said, uh, you know, you're not doing anything in the mom space, I think this would be really good. And it's one of the few things I kind of hammered on and actually got somewhere. And they finally said, you're right, we aren't, that's a great idea. And my vision was that it would be these one minute comedic videos relating to the world of moms that I would somehow magically, and this was my naivete, <laughs> Babysitter would pick it up and, you know, whatever, all these different big sites would pick this up and there would be a 15 second lead in commercial, they would get some of the money, we'd get some of the money. That, that was my, and that's what the great thing about being naive, if you really knew what would happen, you wouldn't do it. Right. And you're like, because so they said, fantastic. well, actually distribution deals like that are quite difficult to get and you're actually going to have to become a blogger and we'll have to create a site and then we'll see what happens. And I was like, what? So I sort of back then to the blogging aspect of it, mm -hmm. which is also a, a part of um, Cool Mom. And then he, uh, Michael's like, you know, we really, I like the Cool Mom thing, but I think in order to get a sponsorship, we need to sort of blow it up bigger. So then we develop Momversation. So in terms of production for Cool Mom, let's talk about that. How do you go about it? Because it's a Monday through Friday launch, so you always have a lot to produce. It's two ways. I have a little video camera that I can put on a tripod and I'll just go into my closet or wherever and do something. Yeah. Or I get a, um, a camera, we hire a camera guy, uh, and that's where the DECA part helps because they you know, know who to hire or whatever. Uh, and I have a, a producer who comes and then we'll bank anywhere from 10 to 20 videos. Lately we've been doing about 12. Okay. Just because when we do 20, sometimes I watch them sometimes back and go, oh, uh, that wasn't, wasn't so what, great. Yeah. I had to do that a lot right before I gave birth because I just knew I was going to be out of commission. Weeks were gonna be yeah. yeah, so it's a mix of just all one man band and then me, one camera sound guy, one producer, and that's it. If you're doing the one man band, are those more spontaneous? Like, oh, something's happened. I'm really inspired to shoot something right now. Yeah, they, they have become like that. As soon as I'd given birth, my producer came over with a little camera. We did like five from the hospital bed, which was kind of fun. But <laughs> you're uh, brave. <laughs> like, you know oh, what? I'm so tired. You know what? If, if you you don't even know. I mean, I look at those videos now, and I can say I I look like H E double toothpicks. But I didn't feel like that. I felt euphoric and happy, and and that's also that's I want I wanted moms to really you know. There's all there's so much of like. I don't know, the Hallmark, the TV movie, the week idea of motherhood. And like, the truth is you're really fat here. <laughs> Your roots are coming out. You know, it's just, that's, that's, that's how it is. Now out of coolmom.com, momversation.com yeah. evolved. Mm -hmm. It's moms from all over the country. They're all vloggers. Mm -hmm. And you're having a conversation over video. I have never been more aggressive or more horny than I was 
uh, during my third trimester. I think it is dead wrong to circumcise your son. I really don't give a crap about your opinion, so quit selling it to me. How has been the feedback on the conversation? Because I mean, there's so many different people from all over the country now watching this. I think it's been good, and, and I think people definitely pick their favorites out of the panels, you know, people who they relate to more or less. Yeah. You know, there's nobody else doing anything like that. It's, I mean, it is kind of the view online. It really is. Really, and which was which was one of the reasons I thought of a Cool Mom in the first place, because when I was home at 10 o'clock in the morning and my daughter won't go to sleep, I used to love putting on The View because I was like, oh, there's my friends. <laughs> Let's talk, because you're just so starved for company. Well, how do you think um, the whole sort of mom and parenting sites fit within the whole new media aspect of what's going on with web series and, and new media pioneers and creators? It's to fill in the gaps of the voices that you don't see on TV. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I actually thought, okay, if Cool Mom was a TV show, where would it be on television? It wouldn't be anywhere. There is no place for it. Right. So that's what's great about the internet. I interviewed my mom sometimes on Cool Mom, and she said, oh my God, if this had been around when I was a mother, I would have hung on every syllable. Well, Daphne, I want to thank you so much for joining us oh, because for sort of opening up the whole world of, you know, mommy vloggers and what you guys are going through, and I think it's really a growing industry, especially yeah. with new media. Well, I think Daphne sure has proven that moms do have a place in this whole crazy web world. Oh, she's a cool mom, too. This episode of The Web Files is now closed. I'm Kristen Burt. We'll see you next time. <laughs>